Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn three important phrasal verbs, rely on, depend on, and count on. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. To rely on, to depend on, and to count on. So notice here that, of course, it's a phrasal verb because we have our verb and our preposition and both of these are required. So you can't just say depend. It always is depend on, count on. Now, this is just step one, because knowing this information isn't enough to form a sentence. You need to know the rest of the structure. So also, to make your learning more efficient, don't just learn the correct preposition, you need to learn what comes next. And with all three of these, it's rely on someone or something plus an infinitive. So of course the infinitive is just to and your verb. So all of these are in the infinitive because we have to count on. So that's just the infinitive here. So now knowing this full structure, you're able to form a sentence. You have all the information that you need. Of course, the only thing that's missing is you would start with a subject, right? But that's with any sentence in English. We always start with our subject. Now, what does this mean? Let's just clarify that before we go on. So rely on, depend on, and count on, like I said, they all have pretty much the same meaning. And that is to trust someone with a task or objective or to need someone to do something. So we'll look at both of these definitions using all three of the phrasal verbs in this lesson. Let's take an example sentence. My boss relies on him. Okay, so of course we're using the verb, phrasal verb, <laughs> rely, rely on. So we see our rely on, but notice it's him because you rely on someone. And let's take a look at the spelling here. We have an I-E-S and think about what verb tense is this in? Hmm, do you know? It's, of course, the present simple. And it's an I-E-S because my boss, the subject, is either a he or she. So she relies on him. So for our spelling, when we have a Y-E-S, it changes to an I-E-S. Okay, and this is in the present simple. Now let's think about why. Why is this statement in the present simple? Hmm. Well, of course, we use the present simple for general facts, general statements, and routines. So you could think of this as, in general, my boss relies on him. Or as a daily routine, it would be, my boss relies on him every day, all the time. So it's a repeating action. It's an action that's true all the time. Okay, but let's also pay attention to the sentence structure because we cannot say, my boss relies him on. So the order of the words, we can't switch them here. But then if you look at other phrasal verbs, you can. You can say, my boss picks him up. So here, this is okay with the phrasal verb, pick up. So you need to memorize a lot. You need to memorize the prepositions, the structure, and the order of the words. Now let's look at another example. My boss is relying on me to finish the report. Okay, so here a verb rely, but what verb tense is this? 
go the present continuous. And our subject, my boss, so we need is, she is relying, and then of course on someone, me, and then here our infinitive, to finish, to finish the report. Okay, so why are we using the present continuous in this situation? Hmm, it's because this action is taking place right now. Right now, my boss is relying on me to finish the report. So it's for a specific task happening now. But this statement, remember, my boss relies on me in the present simple, this isn't for a specific task. This is just an in general, all the time, my boss relies on me. So also think of the verb tenses and which verb conjugations and tenses are the most commonly used. Now we could also say, last year my boss relied on me a lot. So what verb tense is here? Yeah, of course, the past simple. Now here, notice the spelling change. A Y-E-D, that becomes an I-E-D, relied, I'd, relied. Okay, good. Relied on me, good. And then our keyword to tell us this is in the past simple, last year. So this is for a specific moment in the past that's complete. So right now, my boss isn't relying on me, but last year, my boss relied on me a lot. And then of course, something happened to change this situation. So many different verb tenses that we can use. Now, with all of these examples, we can use the phrasal verb depend on instead of rely on, and it would have the same meaning. Now, we can also use count on, but there's one subtle difference. And that subtle difference is when you count on someone or something, you have 100% confidence. For example, let's say your boss asks you, are you sure you can meet the deadline? You can reply and say, you can count on me. You can count on me. This is a common expression in English. We use this a lot. Now, of course, you could also say, you can rely on me or you can depend on me. You can use that. But when your boss hears this, he's going to think 100%. Whereas, of course, rely is very high. I mean, maybe it's 98%. So I don't want you to think that there's a huge difference. So this is still probably 98%. But when an English speaker hears this, you can count on me, we take this as a very strong statement. So just be cautious <laughs> when you use count on me, you have to really mean it. For example, you can say, I'm really counting on you. Now, if your boss says this to you, I'm really counting on you. It tells you that your boss has 100% confidence in you. And that's a very strong statement. And you're going to feel a lot of responsibility because of that. As a reply, you can say, I know, and you can. You can count on me. And then you can add, I won't let you down. I won't let you down. So this is a phrasal verb, to let someone down. So notice we're using down as our preposition, but we still need someone, let someone down. So when you let someone down, it means you don't do what you said you were going to do. You failed that person. So you can say, I won't let you down. You can count on me. Let's say your coworker asks, 
Can you make sure everything runs smoothly while I'm on vacation? And as a reply, you can say, absolutely, you can count on me. You can count on me. So I just want to stress that although these are synonymous, we use this one more as of an expression in English and a very strong statement, meaning 100%. Awesome job. Now, of course, is your turn to practice. So I want you to leave three examples, one with rely on, depend on, and count on in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, if you're a busy professional who's serious about taking your English and your career to the next level, then I want you to go to my website, jforestenglish.com. There, you'll find a free case study where you can learn how to feel confident speaking English in public so you can impress your boss and clients with your message in only 30 days. To get your free case study, simply click the button, enter your name and email, and you'll get instant access to the case study. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job learning these really great phrasal verbs. And of course, we all need someone in our life that we can rely on, depend on, and count on. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.